Greetings, Carl here on uh, Monday, the fourth day of National Moth Week uh, 2020. And uh, the, today I want to talk about lights, lighting, ways to lure moths using light. Um, and you think that, uh, that, that maybe the brighter the light, the better, but actually it's the spectrum of, that the light puts out that is really important. And anything closer to the UV range generally attracts insects a little bit better. And people that build these kinds of devices here to catch mosquitoes certainly know about that. But uh, let's just walk through some of the, the lights that are used commonly for mopping. The first would be the mercury vapor light. And it comes in uh, two common sizes, although there are larger wattages, but this is really common. It's a 175 watt bulb that uh, uh, needs uh, a ballast in order to operate this bulb. It's got a rather large socket, you see, that doesn't fit into a standard fixture. The uh, other kind of mercury vapor light is a 160 watt mercury vapor light that does have a ballast built into the bulb. And so this will uh, work off of any light socket that you have in the house, which is great. So this is the better light, I think, for most of us. Although this puts out a little bit more uh, lumens, this might be the light for you. Um, this comes in two different kinds of bulbs. One is frosted and one is clear. Mothers generally prefer the clear bulb. Uh, rather than the frosted bulbs, so keep that in mind. These are becoming harder and harder to find, okay? But look for them. I don't prefer the mercury vapor lights because I've gone to the black lights uh, or full UV lights, uh, and they work pretty well for me, and they work for other people too. This is the cheapest way you could do that, is get a fluorescent black light tube, a 60 watt with a fixture, the ballast built in here, and this works just fine. But what I don't like about this light is that as you're looking at the moths on the sheet, uh, it's hard to tell the colors of the moths with the black light. So um, I suggest using a regular shop light that you can pick up at any hardware store. Put that 60 watt black light bulb in here, the one that emits UV radiation, and then a fluorescent tube or bulb right alongside it so that both bulbs are illuminated and you can actually see the sheet because the sheet will be white and uh, it's greater uh, light for using if you're going to photograph the moths on the sheet at night. It works out really well. That's just a hint. Anytime you're using um, black light bulbs or mercury white vapor bulbs, it's a good idea to wear eye protection. And you can buy these eye protective kinds of glasses that will shield out most of the UV radiation for three or four bucks at most hardware stores, I expect. But it's a good idea to bring these. Your ophthalmologist would recommend that. You don't want to damage your retina. Now, I have gone recently to using bug zappers as my outdoor lights. They're built to be outdoors and they weather really well in the rain and etc. and they last a fairly long time. I have three different sizes here. Although these two look like they're the same size, this one here has two bulbs in it rather than one. Bug sappers are dangerous for insects. They're designed to kill insects. And so what you have to do is you have to disarm, or I like to say defang the bug zappers so that they don't kill your moths when they come. All of these bug zappers come with a cylindrical screen, actually two of them that surround the bulb. And if the wings of the moth or insect touch both of these meshes, the insect will be electrocuted. So what we have to do is we have to take out those meshes and they're soldered to uh, some wires that are found in the top of this contraption. Now I have removed the four screws that hold this whole thing together and you need to remove them to change the bulb if you ever need to do so. But these two wires right here are the wires that descend through the right top of the rack, okay, and uh, are soldered to the individual uh, cylindrical meshes. And so we want to cap those wires, 
okay for a nickel or a dime you can cap these wires yourself and uh, and then make sure that they don't touch one another and then reassemble okay this back together again and you have you've got a bug zapper that is going to zap anything it's going to attract insects but it's not going to harm them and that's going to be wonderful for you i think you can pick these things up at any thrift store or secondhand store um, generally in the fall when people are getting rid of this stuff and uh, i don't know what they cost new but i never paid more than 15 dollars for one of these i think i got this for seven bucks and these two for 10 or 12 bucks and i think that's a fabulous deal you might need to get a new bulb but new bulbs are not hard to find for these as they are for these okay so think about that uh, as you plan to uh, equip yourself for serious mothing down the road um, that's all I've got to say uh,